So at a slight change of plans, we've decided not to watch Anon because we're actually moderately afraid of watching a good film after all these terrible ones. So we're going to watch something in between. It's, it's neither good nor bad nor... Well, it's, it's a film I've seen before. Um, it's called Life Force, supposedly by the same production team that made Poltergeist, although it's a very, very different animal to Poltergeist. Where Poltergeist was a really high quality film, this is Life Force. You don't know what it's about, do you? I have no fucking idea what this is about. So this is me torturing Rob a second time. So we did Megan um, against his better judgment, or against his judgment, because he's American. Uh, this time, this is an old British film, and it's a British film at its absolute best and worst at the same time. I, I think you're like going to love it. Uh, no, no, you're going to love this. It's, it's got all the things you like apart from cheap massages. Uh, it's, um, it's, and I don't think there's any drugs in it. Maybe drugs in it. Good. <laughs> it's, it really has got it all. It's got hot French chicks with no clothes on. It's got exploding people. It's got insane special effects. It's got sci-fi. I think she's French. You can't smell her. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it always it's always it's dead. always <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome back. Um Hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh I'm really tired. I'm fucking exhausted. <sighs> it has been it's been a really rough week. Yeah. Um, it's only Monday and it's yeah. been a really rough week. Yeah. And to put that in perspective, we usually shoot on Saturday mornings, uh, but we've had multiple power cuts, um, including all day Sunday. Which was fucking brutal. It was brutal. You can imagine what this place is like um, in an air conditioned building with fans running. It's, it's so much worse without it. Um, it's just horrible. Yeah. So you can forget sleeping, you can forget <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's literally it's too hot awful. to sleep, but yeah. it's also too hot to do anything. Yeah, it's it's been awful. So we're shooting really late after work, um, and work sucks because I'm not I wasn't ready for it because I haven't been able to prep anything because the the power's been out. Um, so it's been pretty shit. Yeah, it's been pretty rough. Yeah, uh, roughly the same boat. I mean, yeah. we we do the same job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's it's just been a real rough week or two. Yeah. At the end of a real rough month or two. Yeah. At the end of a real rough year or two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for joining us for this. Uh, yeah. This yeah. break Upbeat. from your routine. You know, you you come on here for a bit of escapist nonsense, and here we are. We um, escaped <laughs> to even more nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you escape. Well, I've always said you you never really win you compromise out one set of things for another um, and I, i'm happier off i mean i'm better off compromising this way but there are times when um it all hits at once uh, you'll have to watch the other channel as well to see what's been going on but it's all hit at once and it was just rough so here we are on a monday night after i've been teaching teenagers all day i've been and, teaching uh, small children all day oh man i've been asked some really strange questions today um, we're, we're at the end of the year, we're, we're coming up to the end of it, and one of my grade 12 students said, Teacher, why are you bald? I, mean, <laughs> I get that all the time. Yeah, you do, but you're in kindergarten. This is a grade 12 student, they're about to release her into the wild. And she's, <laughs> <laughs> she's asking me why I'm bald. So I had to give her the whole explanation. Oh, and then this afternoon, another one, and she's top of the class. This is grade 11, she's top of the class. And she said, uh, are you Irish? I said, well, I'm half Irish on my mum's side. All my mum's family are Irish. Right, right. I hear there's a lot of incest in Ireland. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so I had to explain. Not really, uh, at least not in my family. Um, we're all very unattractive. Um, <laughs> so I think, I think what you're trying to get at is Irish people are stupid, <laughs> so they may be inbred, <laughs> and I don't come across well from this. <laughs> I'm from Louisiana, and so, I mean, I've heard all... So you all, know about inbred. I know about all the inbred <laughs> jokes. And again, it's, yeah. it's not nearly as common as the stereotype oh, would yeah, make you I believe. Imagine, yeah, yeah. 
but no um so yeah it's been it's been a long day um that particular class so much so much autism i, I think every student there <laughs> is somewhere on the spectrum and they're all just barking for attention all the time and it's just and they've put that class right at the end of my day so i have to deal with this last thing every single day so you feel like yeah i'm almost there and then you look at the schedule and think oh no that one. that's that's how i feel on thursdays and fridays my two or my yeah my two worst classes are my last two classes of the day <laughs> yeah. oh it's fucking painful yeah and the the polar extreme with those two classes is one of them is 24 kids and they are uncontrollable. It doesn't yeah. matter if you yell or try to intimidate <laughs> them or whatever. This far into the year, they know I'm all bark yeah. and they just do whatever. They go wild. Yeah. And then I go from that to a class that has six of the quietest, quietest kids on the planet mm. in it. And I could ask a question like, is the sky blue? And they will just sit there and stare at you yeah like you're like you're made of glass it's yeah. insane well we were doing this this might get my last class we were doing the e grades which is the end of the year summing up end of quarter summing up <coughs> and um i, I gave them the, the numbers they wanted their number i know we were supposed to give them out but fuck it i don't care um so she she puts out teacher what did i do wrong because i only got about 80 percent. what did i do wrong and there's this lad at the back and he's a big guy um and he's been around the house dressed up in football he doesn't give a shit um and he got 97. <laughs> I said, okay, let's, let's ask him, what did you do? I don't know, because he's not a good student. Said, did you finish all the work? Yeah. I said, did you? Oh, no, I, d I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I leave all the quizzes and assignments open for you. You could have gone at any time and finished them off. Did you do it? No. There you go. There's your answer. I mean, and, and it's not a difficult class. I mean, so long as you turn up and do the work, you're going to get... <laughs> I mean, it's all digital. You could sit there yeah. and do it all use asking Bing or Google and yeah. I don't know how they did this. We're we're going from an old book that is twenty five years at least out of date, uh, and there was some random question about Singaporean sports from an Australian newspaper dated back to two thousand and four, which is already old when it was printed. And um, I asked one of the questions in the book, and some kid held up his phone and read it all out, and he said, "Oh, he's using ChatGPT." He's using ChatGPT to answer a 25-year question. <laughs> what? <clears throat> oh. Well, now that I realized, I always thought you had to pay for it, but now that I realize ChatGPT is free, I've been asking it all kinds of shit. Yeah. Just, why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> One of the students, she said to me, uh, must have been today, I'm so tired I can't even remember. Um, what, do you want to, what do you want to be doing in five years? I want to be dead in five years. I don't want to be alive this long. <laughs> it's taking forever. Yeah, they, they, I said something similar. They asked me as a teacher, why do you drink so much sting? I said, because I'm not trying to be 100. I said, <laughs> yeah. 65, I'm trying to check out. Yeah. Oh, it's been a long day. Um, and we decided not to watch Anon because... Why did we not do it? Because neither of us really fancied it, did we? It's, it's not even that. Like, it's the sort of movie I would watch by myself. Yeah. It didn't seem... Why nudity in it or something? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't seem like uh, it would be fun yeah. for us to sit there that's, and, that's and the dissect thing. It's, it. We've kind of gone into the fun thing, you know, watching these terrible movies. Um, so we just fancy sticking on something silly. So we put on an old 1985 film called Life Force, uh, which I've seen before a couple of times, and I think it's just mental it it's was just, surprisingly good it was actually yeah uh, really solid direction the special effects for the era were were very very good um some great ideas scientific yeah. uh, principles were actually uh, pretty decent it, too it falls off near the end but even the acting oh, for the most of the them well i mean yes. the acting particularly oh yeah uh, was pretty solid for the first three quarters of the film um yeah and you gotta remember it's not shot in Order. I think the idea has just got a bit silly. I think they just lost control of it. Right. Um, but it was, I've always thought of it as a really mental film. It kind of feels like, if you've ever seen the old um, Jerry Anderson stuff, um, like the moon base stuff, it kind of looks like that. It's got that sort of nonsense 70s vibe, even though it was made much later. 
Um, <clears throat> and he can't decide if it wants to be a horror or a sci-fi or a drama or, or a, a comedy. Cartoon. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nonsense. Yeah. Um, but it's it it's works very inventive. Uh, well, all right. So <clears throat> it works mainly because if you're a man, Matilda May just walks around naked for fucking. At least a quarter of the film's screen time. Yeah, but then she turns into Patrick Stewart, which I really didn't like. Yeah, I was not a fan of the, <laughs> yeah. the swap to Patrick Stewart. Yeah. Or the redhead. Or the bat. Oh, I still fancy the bat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> redhead, though. Whoa. Um, he didn't go back like to the be, redhead. <laughs> go back to being Patrick Stewart. <laughs> yeah. Patrick Stewart, no. That's such... No. It's just such a weird out of nowhere thing if i hadn't noticed his name in the credits when he shows up three quarters of the way through the film there would i would have had like a real what the fuck yeah. moment so why is patrick stewart here and why does somebody shout the line she's hiding inside patrick stewart <laughs> <laughs> it's, no. no and the the crazy part is uh, granted i haven't watched a lot of his work but the more that i'm exposed to the various works of Patrick Stewart. When the more I realize Patrick Stewart, yeah. <laughs> and it begins. <laughs> the more I realize that uh, he's only got the one character. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's just being that. He's probably just being himself. Yeah, yeah, with somebody else inside him, which is probably how he got the job. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it starts off with this girl. What's her name? The woman? The, the French girl. Matilda May. Matilda That's May. her real name. In the credits, she's just listed as Space Girl. Space Girl, yeah. Um, she was 18 when she made this. And they were... I believe they, it. They were shaving her. And then they decided she's too naked. So they put hair back on her. <laughs> so they couldn't quite get... And apparently, there's a scene where all the windows break and she's walking along. They glued rubber to her feet to get her to not cut her feet up. Because uh. special effects just... Yeah, they, they weren't a thing. It looked great. Let's have some glass. Uh, no one <laughs> thought, let's just fake it. No, no, no. We'll just make a wall through glass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Hollywood has always been communist, but uh, they back in the day, they were a lot more hardcore about yeah. this shit. Yeah. Um, it, well, some would argue not hardcore enough. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there is a, there's a director's cut of this, which is another whole hour I think, I think it was enough life force for me. Yeah, yeah. That, that's pretty much... I can much, feel my actual life force draining out <laughs> by the end of it. That's pretty much all I got in me. Unless yeah. it's just an extra hour of what Matilda May fucked off and did for the middle half yeah. of the movie. Uh, apparently it's more erotic, the other version. I believe um, that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a, that's a thing with uh, amongst that circle. It was one of the movies that I had came across when I was researching this one that uh, some of the other people had done. And it was either her or the lead actor had done another movie that's very similar. And it also has like a, a director's cut that's super rare and hard to find. That's essentially just more sex scenes. Right. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it's, it's a weird film. It's, um, it's space vampires. Um, literally. Literally. They find a giant umbrella in space full of... Space vampires. I'm not making this up. Um, it's a giant sort of 150 mile miles. long. Yeah, and uh, miles, yeah. not not kilometers. They're not they're not doing it the proper way. Yeah. So, for some reason, it's miles. Because um, America. Well, there's uh, there's clearly American money. When well, because well, American no, I mean the mission commander is American. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense because they clip to NASA, and the only difference is they've painted things a different color. It's, it's, <laughs> it's the the clocks are white and they go silver. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's the same fucking set, just painted differently and lit differently. Yeah, there's the um, European Space Administration and NASA that are both yeah. working together on this shuttle named the Churchill. The Churchill, yeah. Uh, but it's crewed by a bunch of uh, well, there's there's a few other countries, but mostly American Air Force yeah. officers. Yeah, it makes no fucking sense. Not, not much of this film does. Um, I, I like the spaceship. I did too. I like the Churchill. The, it's, it's got pros and cons. It's, it's basically a space shuttle um, with forward wings, but it's much, much bigger. And a, like extendable, uh, I'm assuming, solar collectors? Yeah. Yeah, because it, it's got a, 
a fixed acceleration, so it's accelerating at the speed of gravity. But it's the thing I don't like about it is the engine the speed out the gravity. bottom. Yeah, nine point nine meters per second. It's accelerating at a fixed oh, rate, okay. so it's yeah. so you've got an artificial gravity through acceleration, which is a pretty good idea. And the the wings that come out, the solar collectors, are ridiculously gigantic because, of course, it doesn't matter in space. And I like the ideas of it. I um, did too. I didn't like. I didn't like that it is just a scaled up space shuttle. I, th I feel like they've just cheaped out in the wrong place. Yeah. Um, and I didn't like. Um, I didn't like where the, the thrust engine sits on the bottom because it can't be retracted. So at the most, it should have been able to swivel, but it looks like yeah. it's just fixed in that position. Yeah, yeah. The, it's, it's, it's a real shame because the, the model looks, the long shots of the model look cheap, and that's the only effect that looks cheap, and it's yeah. a really important part of the, of the story. Um, but it's quite well done. Um, the, the effects for the, the model Yeah, for the time and the, well the budget. Yeah, especially when you factor in the budget. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I like the design of it overall, uh, and in the the interior sets, apart from the storage area, is a bit too big, but they look great. Yeah, they, and they they're quite unpleasant. Well, it reminds yeah. the bridge especially reminds me of the bridge of a Star Trek shuttlecraft. Mm. Um, Essentially, about the same shape, same size. You've just got. Uh, a bunch of chairs packed in there with people sitting at their consoles like you would in uh, a small submarine or something. Yeah. You've still got 2001 and um, early Star Trek movies vibes. It's still got an alien to a, to a degree. It's got little vibes of other movies. Um, but it doesn't go all the way into that territory. It still manages to be its own thing. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I didn't necessarily like the design of the alien ship, the, the space umbrella, but uh, I did like that like prehistoric skin bone yeah. texture that they did for it. That was yeah. pretty cool. I think it went a little bit too close to alien. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was pretty decent. I like that they, they enter in the, the alien vessel and it's... Uh, they even comment that it's like an artery. They're like yeah. flying into a, a giant an space asshole. Yeah, yeah. That's a whole different movie. Not not that different. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Essentially the same movie. Yeah, but we never we never find out is it theirs or did they steal it from another culture? Because they they're supposed to be world destroyers. And well, we're we're given <clears throat> just enough to make a few educated guesses, but we're never given the answers to these yeah. questions. Yeah, but not in a bad way. I feel like some of the answers would be too much. I mean, yeah. it's, it's fair enough, you, could, you can make an educated guess. These, these aliens are giant bats, but they can turn into humans, um, or at least make themselves look like humans. That was my headcanon, is the, yeah. they're always the bat, and that the the beautiful human exterior is just something that they are projecting into yeah. everyone's mind around them. Yeah. Uh, as well as I assume that the ship has just been traveling at the head of Halley's Comet, you know, for however many thousands of years, and that they every time they come near Earth, every mm. what is it, ninety mm. something years or seventy three yeah. years, something like that. Uh, they just, you know, harvest a few more people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. Um, doesn't quite make sense. They're the destroyers of worlds, but they're just towing around in yeah. the um I'll, I'll give them that one. Maybe maybe they were damaged or something. But yeah, so the ship looks great. It's, it's, again, it's got motion picture vibes to it. Yeah. It's got that whole oversized design to it, which looks pretty decent. Um, it looks good. The alien design, the, the bats... Again, they're bats, but they yeah. do their own thing. They're and they they uh, did uh, some cool effects with the like when they find the uh, bat corpses and they mm. break off a piece of one. Yeah, very unscientific. You just snap yeah. off a finger. Oh, I think um, he's dead. Yeah. Hey, you don't fucking say. <clears throat> yeah, and then they bag it to take back, and they bag <laughs> it with a with a net. Yeah. <laughs> just oh, I forgot a about the net. Fucking net. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few laughs. Yeah, bag that um, sample. We'll just yeah. <laughs> it's for a net around it to tow it back. We won't get any uh, particulates. <laughs> His fingers are dropping off way. in space, and it'll be fine. It's uh, it's not going to fight back now. <laughs> no, it's it's desiccated completely. And then they find these three human bodies: two two male, one female. 
Um, Which kind of gave me a Superman vibe with the crystals. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot of borrowing from other yeah. films in this. But yeah, it looked, uh, it looked decent. I liked the set design in Superman a lot. I yeah. think it was very underrated. I, I like the crystal thing. It's not done in any other movies, and I think it was done very well in I also Superman. like the idea that they went with, like, that we're told later on, that it it looks like a crystal, but it's actually a force field. Yeah. And I thought yeah. that, you know, that's, that's a cool idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there were some decent scientific ideas in there. Um, yeah, and then, she, well, they have to, well, we don't, we don't know that happened yet, um, but she hides the body, um, her bat body, and then she starts hopping into mines. So this is all done projecting ideas into mines. Yeah. So, but we've got the real body. Um, they take it back. They, well, the, they scuttle the ship. The captain of the ship scuttles it because um, it's all getting a bit crazy up in space. And yeah. People are dying. She's sucking the life force. Uh, now these vampires, they are sort of vampires, but they're sucking life energy instead of uh, blood. But they're doing it very, very quickly. They have to get a fix every two hours. Yeah, but they're, they're kind of like succubi or succub a succubus. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, there, it's also, there's like a zombie thing going on where yeah. if they don't feed after they've been turned, if they don't feed yeah. uh, in X later. amount of time, they turn into, they go back to being like a desiccated... Corpse. corpse but there's, there's a lot that doesn't quite make sense i mean she hides her body and then hops into somebody else's body but still carries on sucking life energy now is she transferring that back to the original body and she's not transferring enough to kill anybody at this point because she wants to stay hidden uh, so it's all a bit confusing yeah is she just like tapping a little bit and if she is how is she sending it back um because it's remote um but then, <coughs> then she's got other powers as well. At one point, all the blood is sucked out of everybody and turns into a, a blood puppet, which is of her. fucking mental. Yeah, it's um, wild. It's probably my favorite bit. That's just so crazy. <laughs> and then the blood just splashes all over the floor. Um, and there's no sort of reference to blood anywhere else. I mean, they're not no. literally blood-sucking vampires. No. So I don't know where that came from. Or but they, they seem to have... On top of the telepathic powers, they appear to have telekinetic powers as well. Yeah. Because at one point, when she originally escapes the facility, uh, guards are come, they come running at her, and she just kind of puts her hand up, and there's this flashing effect, mm. and then they just fall away. Yeah. Well, I just assumed that was a, a manipulation of the, the life force. I thought she was just pushing it back. But then there's the other bit where... Um, the two men, the two male ones, are approaching and they're just shot to pieces, but nothing happens to them. Yeah. So are they projecting completely? Are they, are they Not even there. Yeah. Uh, are they a force field? Well, just they also like explode at one point and somehow well, reconvergate themselves. Yeah, they put themselves back together. So there's a, lo there's a lot of unanswered questions, but these are meant to be aliens from another world that we don't understand. Um, and you can give it a pass. Yeah. And I feel it's, it's okay. It works. Um, but it is, it's a pretty crazy film. The, the, it's English, and some of the dialogue is very awkward. <laughs> uh, very British. Um, well, the whole movie is very British. Yeah. Yeah. But not necessarily in a bad way. It yeah. works. Oh, no, it does. I, I, I like it. I've, I've seen it a few times. I, I like this movie. It's, it's just... It's just barking mad. <laughs> it's like someone looked at this script and thought, more nudity. Um, let's okay. shave a French chick. <laughs> you know, it's a blood I mean, to, you be, say. <laughs> to be fair, you can't overstate. This chick is really fucking hot. Yeah. Um, and just walking around in a military base. And, it's, and the guards are, uh, uh, quick, we've got a naked monster running around. And then this guy's looking at Hey, you never guess what I'm looking at. Is it a naked vampire? Is it the thing we just warned you about? <laughs> yeah, no one's taking it seriously. Um, it's, uh, I mean, yeah, it's quite funny. Yeah. Um, and she's a pretty solid actress. And it, it just, she looks weird walking around in this building, nude, because it just, it doesn't fit, which is, it's not meant to fit. She's meant to look out of place. And well, they, she's they, been they in... Um... She's been in a lot of movies and doesn't seem to have ever really hit 
the mark. But the biggest movie I could find that she was in was uh, The Jackal with Bruce Willis and Richard Gere. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't seen that in years. I didn't like it particularly. I wasn't a huge fan I of it. I like the original. Yeah. Um, so I, I didn't like that. But, uh, yeah. Who was she in that? I mean... I would have to look it back up. I. Oh, when was that made? Late 90s? In mid to late 90s, yeah. Yeah, probably mid, yeah. Bruce Willis so, still had hair. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was still wearing a wig at that yeah. point, yeah. So ten, it's got to be 10 years on. So she'd have been 28. So she probably would have been probably a lead, I would think, a lead... Yeah, I mean, probably uh, some side character. Mm. But, I mean, she's in the movie. Mm. Her character has a credit. It's not just like mm. girl on sidewalk. I, I still like the, the old IMDb where it would be simply the, the actors in, in prominence rather than in DEI order. Yeah. So you can't tell who the hell was in it. So it used to be that the further down they were, the lesser of a character they were. So you could just tell who they were. Now it's all... Political. Yeah, fucking everything is. Not Life Force. No, no Life Force is, is no not really... No representation there. Yeah, not really no. being very political there. No. No. Um, I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I want to say, like, the entire cast was all white people. Like, all... Yeah. Well, so we should obviously cancel this movie. Yeah, I think it's self-canceling anyway. <laughs> um, no, there was... No, I can't think of any... Uh, any other characters in no. it. But there wouldn't have been in London yeah. in 1985. You know, there, it, was, it was very white. Um, we, we weren't just letting people offload their boats onto the shores at that point. You know, so, yeah. And um, look at how you've improved <laughs> since. Yeah, yeah. So you've many new learned cultures. and grown as a society. Oh, yeah. We've, um, what we've done is we've taken other cultures and we've invited them to come and bring the best of themselves. And we've learned from it. <laughs> you almost do that with a straight face. Almost. Yeah, almost. Um, Island too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're they're in a worse boat. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe maybe Scotland. Britain is not looking good. No, <laughs> no. Um, to be fair, neither is America. I mean, to be fair, it's not looking good compared to an apocalypse of space vampires, <laughs> you know, which is what this movie turns into. I like that it just keeps changing tack. You know, it's a spy thriller. We've got the, the SAS spy. For some reason, he's SAS. I, I think just because people knew what SAS meant. So. Well, it just sounds badass. Yeah, yeah. I think they were in the news. Um, people knew what they were. Yeah. So it's just, yeah, stick an SAS guy in there. And he, he sort of becomes the protagonist, but not, then he just gets knocked back again. He's not the protagonist anymore. Um, and then the, the space captain from the beginning, even though he's questionably mental, they just make him the main character again. He pops back in. And I think that was because he's an American. And that's who funded the movie. Yeah. You know, so they, they just they like an American lead. And I mean, he did a pretty decent job. And he's, he also has a yeah. fairly long uh, IMDb filmography that yeah. with a few movies that I'm, I'm going to watch. Yeah, yeah, he was showing me earlier. I think, yeah, we have to get some of those. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, some horrendous overacting. but mm, I, Especially at the end. Yeah, I don't think it was his fault. He was obviously pushed for... They just kept pushing and pushing. Yeah. Him. You know, he's got to keep up in his game. I don't know the name of the guy that played the SAS. He, he was pretty consistent. He was, he was pretty actor. good. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's one of those guys you think he should have probably had a better career. Yeah. You know, he was pretty decent. I actually did um, at one point wonder, like, why don't I know who the fuck this guy is? Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty solid. Um, there, was a, there was a scientist in it as well with the white hair. I feel like I know him from something. Dr. He's, Falata. Yeah, he's been he, in a few things. He reminded me heavily of, like, 70-year-old Henry Winkler. Yeah. Yeah, you see, I remember you saying... Um, I didn't get that vibe off yeah. of him at all, but... He's yeah. just old, he's got the, the like 70s grey haircut yeah. going. Yeah. yeah I, I, I guess I can see it, but I, th I, wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have jumped to that. Yeah, but yeah he's, he's pretty old. Um, and for some reason, how the fuck did he turn into a vampire? Because he hasn't been attacked by them or anything. Well, he was. But he's, he's not turned. And then he dies. Well, he's... no, I think he was turned off screen. There's the implication of it. At one point, he is, he's doing something or he's on the phone. He's talking to somebody. 
Uh, and he finishes with that, and he turns, and there's this uh, military officer standing mm -hmm. there with this weird look on his face. And my assumption uh, was that one of the male vampires had essentially jumped into that dude and was using him the same way the chick know, uses he gives, the he gives information. Um, but then he sort of grins, um, here I go, and his life force pops out the back. But they seem to, ch this is a, a bit confusing, they change their tack, because at one point they're just taking life force from other people and then other, these other things are coming back to life and taking other people's life force, which all seems a bit wasteful because none of it's going anywhere. And then they start harvesting it. And then instead of turning into vampires, they're turning into zombies. Yes. Which doesn't really make any sense. They needed to have told us a bit more about the life I, cycle. Yeah, I mean, you could surmise then that mm. it takes more life force to create a vampire than a zombie. The zom they, become, they start becoming zombies because at that point they're just stealing life force and they're not giving anything back. Yeah, maybe. I mean... It's like, yeah, they've, they've got rid of 80% of it and then their bite is drawing it. But there's a big Ghostbusters-style yeah. scene. And Poltergeist, because it's the same Well, because he even said it when she created him. He was, she was uh, stealing his life, but she was also giving it back to him and he was yeah. taking hers. And yeah. there's, this, there's a whole process to it. Which almost, almost makes sense because she, she said she, she was inside his mind um, and that's how she chose her form. Yeah. But it was already fixed when they arrived, so that it depends on earlier. how far her reach yeah. is. Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, I suppose. I mean, so how did the two guys get theirs? Yeah, you know, it, it was. I mean, you can't speak for the whole crew, man. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> well, then she wouldn't have killed them. I, I don't. I, there's a few unanswered questions. The zombie thing. We just don't know, and, and a good script should have told us. It should have answered all these questions, not left anything um, Hanging. open. Yeah. The zombie thing was just, it was too big because it was such a big part of the script. Well, it's such a, a giant change, too. It's just, mm. we've, at this point in the story, we have already begun to understand what's happening, and yeah. we're starting to, like, <laughs> feel uh, secure in that knowledge, and then all of a sudden, it's like, nah, you don't know shit. Here's a horde yeah. of zombies. Yeah. I think the real reason is is because the the vampires well, they're not real vampires, they never turn into bats. So yeah. these are earth human vampires. Um, the real reason is is they're either look normal or desiccated and they've got these tiny little puppets, or just skeletons with some skin over it that look almost like they've been dried out. And I think it was just too expensive to make them and normal humans aren't scary enough, so you do a bit of makeup. So you've got a cheaper Compromise, and I think that's where it really came from. I think it was a makeup compromise. So they still look scary, but they're not as expensive as the as the all-out vampire thing. So I think there needed to be a bit more explanation. But it's it as a horror, it was okay. Yeah, it was still it worked. okay. Um, it doesn't take you out of the film. <clears throat> no, because we were paying more attention than yeah. we normally would. Um, it's still an entertaining film. Um, <clears throat> there was another stupid bit I didn't like. Um, about killing the vampires. How do you kill the vampires? And then the professor says, um, the old fashioned oh. way, uh, a leaded steel bar two inches below the heart. That's not the old fashioned no. way. That's, <laughs> that's Nothing about no. what you just said no, that's is it. the old fashioned <clears throat> way. <clears throat> no, it's completely wrong. Um, I think that did take me out of that, that made me chuckle. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, the only <laughs> explanation is that this is an alternate earth. Well, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be, because we, we don't have that sort of technology uh, as Halley's Comet was passing in 1985. They're talking about being on uh, Mars and the moon within a decade and having permanent bases. So, yeah, I do admire these guys from the 1970s and 80s who really thought we were going to achieve something. Um, you know, what, what amazing science will we have in 2024? 73 genders. Yeah, yeah. Is it 73? I thought it was two. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, you're going to get cancelled. <clears throat> yeah, oh, no, surely. Gasp! Um, surely not again. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure the science backs me up on this one. <laughs> <clears throat> but, um, you need to trust the science. Well, 
Yeah. <laughs> the no, science that, is no, too. not that science. <clears throat> oh, not that science. Yeah, you've got to be very specific these days. Um, only the science that um, that you want to believe. <laughs> um, yeah. So I I quite yeah. enjoyed the film. It it was it was a fun. Enjoyable watch. Probably more <clears throat> fun than I would have had watching Anon, even though that's, I'm sure, a much better film. Yeah, it would have uh, been a better film. I just... But it wouldn't have been fun. It would have been the pair of us sitting there making notes. Oh, did you see that? And, and we would have been commenting. I wonder what, he's, what he meant when he said... Yeah, we would have been writing notes. all the, And it isn't fun. Um, this was actually a laugh. Yeah. Um, Maybe uh, in another couple of weeks, once life has calmed <clears throat> down, we'll get back to doing a, a serious film. <laughs> um, yeah, but as, as, as you were saying, I think a serious film is going to be us on our own, right? Yeah. Notes, because it just isn't fun, and we'll just meet I can, up. I can and see this becoming too serious. Yeah, like a, a fun analysis and a serious analysis. I think we're going to have to script <laughs> and just do this for shit and giggles. Um, yeah, I mean, if we could get enough people watching this, sure. Yeah. Then you just split off and then you have your, your spin-off series. Yeah. Because we used to. I mean, the old Down at the Edge was more serious. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And we, we <clears throat> took it more serious. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I did. I w would watch whatever film we were going to talk about. I would do tons of research. I would go get clips. I would make graphics and yeah I took it all very but I didn't have a life or a job or anything at that point point. and one time I turned out I hadn't even watched the film <laughs> it was more than once I'm sure <laughs> no it was only once um, I just didn't have time <laughs> it's good old days the good old days the good old days I mean that was a more popular show it was a more popular version of this yeah but somebody put girls in bikinis all over his channel and got cancelled it's a little more complicated than that yeah, it was a little less bikinis than that as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but, yeah, cancelled. Cancelled. Again, they, they need a rubber stamp for our accounts. Just, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I mean, uh, they haven't stopped me yet for, from coming back. So Yeah, but every day, every day it comes out. I've got a new video. Uh, um, I, it's pushing it, though. And I, and I want to say this, but I can't because I'll get cancelled. Every day... Um, and I, every time I edge a little closer to the line, and it's just one of these days I'm going to fucking say the wrong yeah. thing. I'll forget to edit it out, and yeah. that'll be it. I know, I know we say this every week. We, we are going to make some big changes. We're going to go over to um, Rumble. Rumble, and we'll, we'll use Gab as a, as a platform as well, and we'll, uh, we'll, we can say what we like. Um, yeah. And I know we keep saying it, we haven't done it, but we are really busy, and next week we're, we're off. We've got some time off. So we will set up a Rumble account and we'll link it back to the website so you'll be able to find an archive of everything and you'll be able to find it on YouTube too until we get deplatformed, which is happen. inevitable eventually. Yeah. It's going to happen. Um, so you'll be able to find us on Rumble and we'll start looking at our options, maybe go to other places too and do live streams as well. And We'll, we'll see. Yeah. We'll expand it. I mean, I don't mind the idea of using YouTube to, to help build an audience. Yeah. This is, I would say, probably where we should do live streams mm. for, for the for time YouTube. being. Yeah. But do people really watch them? Because I, I wouldn't. They're boring. It depends on what you're talking about and how concise you are. And that's how we built the channel the first time. As it, I, it was, but these were mostly your friends and people who also were trying to build their channels. So we all hung out. Yeah. I mean, there we, was we a... Growing. A circle of collaboration, but yeah. outside of that, you do steal a few subs from here and there. I say yeah. steal, but what if they follow oh, you home. You, uh, yeah. you go to somebody else's stream, you say a few interesting things, and then they go. Yeah. somebody in that audience is going to come and see yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, but it's a slow process. It's it like, is. Um, it's like everybody drinking out of the same cup. It's awkward. Um, but I well, don't know what the solution is, because YouTube... Uh, it, 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 we all know it doesn't support new creators. No. It doesn't support, support new channels. It's, it's almost entirely corporate now. Well, you have to pay for the advertisement if you want people to see your shit. And then uh, the second that you stop paying, people stop seeing it. Yeah. And this is exactly what um, Elon Musk did on 
on Twitter, yeah. uh, and everyone was berating him for it, but he was just following the, the standard model. You're Which, invisible until you pay. Yeah, well, I mean, I have considered it. I'll give Twitter $7 a month or whatever the fuck it is, if it means people will actually start seeing my tweets and seeing my videos. Yeah. Uh, on the last channel, that was another solid part of growth, was I was pulling 50% of my traffic from Twitter interactions. Yeah, we, we won't do anything from it. But I also got that Twitter account canceled. Yeah. Yeah, we, we never saw any growth from, uh, from Twitter or, or anything. Um, as edgefirst.org, I mean, we, we're trying to give away books. We're trying to sell books. And then there's not even a price on them. You can just download them and read them. Um, yeah, but they don't have, the, they're not politically aligned to the correct narrative. Um, they're not, but um, they're, not, they're not political, really. That doesn't matter. I mean, they're, um, I, I use Hawkeye as an example. You know, you've got these, these two people talking about it, and it shows both sides, and it doesn't show that either of them is correct. One of them's arguing uh, freedom of expression, all that sort of thing. The other one's arguing for censorship, and, and we never really say who's right. We, we let the audience decide. We're never ramming anything down anybody's throat. That's the difference. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, politically, I mean, we, we've, we're libertarian. Um, and that's why they're free. We're libertarian. At this um, point, I think I'm just pure anarchist. Like, just this all—all all this shit needs to reset. There's, yeah. there's no fixing any one part of it because the no, the no. body is so corrupted. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, the system is basically a puppet. We need to uh, get rid of the puppet master. Yeah, that too. But yeah. Uh, so life force. Life force. Um, Pretty decent, um, well worth a watch. Um, yeah. I, I enjoyed it, I was, it was a laugh. Probably wasn't cheesy enough to be a, to be a good laugh. Yeah, it no, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's not just something to sit down and laugh at. There's, there's plenty of parts of it that aren't funny at all. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the, no, the biggest laughs are from things that I don't think were intentional. Yeah, well that's, that's usually the way with these films. Yeah. Um, that said, I, I would watch it before I watched oh. The Last Jedi or Star Trek, uh, what was the third one? Beyond, or um, fucking name a thing. Anything that's been made in the last 10 years is probably garbage compared to a movie like Life Force. <laughs> yeah, well to stretch the metaphor, it's, it's just... An reanimated corpse yeah. um, wearing our favorite franchises as an overcoat. They're not the same things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm not gonna use the box this week. All right, I'm down with that. I know you are, you hate my box. Yeah. I, uh, I would like the box more if it also had movies in there that I'd put in there. I wouldn't like it as much then. <laughs> I've got, um, there's a movie I want to see. Okay. Knox Goes Away. Is it out? I've got it. Uh, like a good copy? Yeah. Oh, I'm down. Okay, I want to see so, it too. Yeah, so next week, Knox, it's a good film. Um, by Supposedly. All accounts, by all accounts, yeah. yeah. It's um, Michael, Michael Keaton's Keaton. directorial debut. Uh, and everyone says, bang up job. And I imagine it's going to be a fantastic acting performance. He's really good. Yeah. You know, so... It's out, I've got it, I got it Sunday. Too okay. late to watch, unfortunately. Um, Fair enough. Didn't come down till late Saturday night, early Sunday. But it's out, it's out, and I've got a, I've got a decent 1080 copy, so we can do Knox Goes Away next week. Okay, oh, it's better than what I was gonna suggest. Oh, well, just for shit and giggles, what were you gonna suggest? Cockfighter. I'm on board. Yeah, no, I mean, not for next week now. Now we gotta do Knox Goes Away, but then after that we can do Cockfighter. Well, we've got all next week. We've got, we've got some time off. Yeah, we could, we could, we could re pre-record an episode to hold on to it. Yeah, we, we need a spare episode, so... Oh, fuck it. Yeah. 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 It just, it sounds like such a wild movie. It does, it does. For reference, um, this is the lead actor from Life Force, and he was doing a background check to do some, some information on it. This has been one of our crappiest videos. We've done, no, well, we have done some research, but... We did it days ago, and we're knackered, and I've forgotten everything, um, except how they shaved her naked. For some reason, 
can't think why that's stuck in my head. Um, no, no clue. No. no. I, I learned that she's done a number of erotic-based thrillers. Uh, oh, that's terrible. What, what were their titles? Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's maybe. a lot of them. Yeah. Well, she is French. Um, I think. Yeah, she, she seems French. Yeah, it's probably true. Um, 